Graduates are in the hunt for that first big job and today some advice on how to maneuver that process a little more smoothly. Recruiting and staffing expert Ted Shalupski is here with some advice for us. Good to have you here. Thanks, Brian. And we were just talking. This is, sounds like a really good time to be stepping into the job market. All the indicators are it's probably the strongest market for new grads that we've seen probably since 2007. The there's over 19 million people that are graduating from college according to the statistics uh -huh. right now and we are seeing a 4% about a 4% increase a in new job offers over last year at this time so again Man. trends are all good so it's good news you just have to approach it probably in, in a way that's effective for you uh, we're going to run through a few things here and obviously right away you talk about the resume uh, and any good pointers there for for graduates to be thinking about well one thing is Brian, they don't teach you in school how to look for a job. The basic building block is still a good resume. So we want to just start it with the basics. Real quickly, your name, your phone number and email, your LinkedIn profile address, which is key, mm. one or two relevant types of positions that you've held, internships, working in a call center, things of that nature, mm -hmm. and then any your your uh, uh, your school background, sure. what your area of study was. Okay, those are all good things to keep in mind. And you mentioned LinkedIn, and you actually say make sure that you have an account. You're pretty pretty big on the LinkedIn thing. Well, let's put it this way: the two things that good recruiters and employers are looking at right now are the resume and the LinkedIn profile. That's the two things they go to. Okay. And again, experienced recruiters or employers that are looking for people, they'll take about five or ten seconds to look at your resume and your LinkedIn profile. If they see the type of experience they're looking for, they're going to go after you real quickly. Okay. Also, you say utilize your school's placement office. Some good resources there that you can cash in on. Interestingly enough, most students don't utilize their placement services, and that's where employers and recruiters are going to just say, hey, look, I'm looking for this type of person. Do you have them in your file? Mm. So I encourage students, go to that placement office and utilize it. You also say practice your interviewing skills. What's the key to a good interview? <laughs> we could spend a half an hour. It'd be a long time. Very quickly, very quickly. Practice, okay. uh, role play. And this is again where the placement office will come in or go to a company like ours because basically what we do is we review the resumes and coach on that. Or number two, we do some coaching in terms of interviewing skills. Okay. So uh, utilize those tools out there because most of them are free. And then you also say target companies that offer the type of job that you want. It seems kind of obvious, right? Tendency for most graduates, let's shotgun a resume out there and see what sticks. But really what you want to do is do some due diligence. So for instance, if your background is say accounting, mm -hmm target CPA firms, corporate accounting departments, because right now they're desperate to find new grads and get them on board. How good does it feel for you when you help somebody find a job? Well, it's great. I mean, I've been doing this for over 30 years now, and I've literally placed thousands of people into new jobs, and mm -hmm. my file is full of letters saying, hey, it was great <laughs> to work with you. Thanks for helping me find the job. Yeah, well, I hope it's a, it's a good job hunting season ahead. Uh, always good to see you. All yeah, right, thanks, thank Brian. you so very much. If you have a recent grad that you think might benefit from hearing all of this, we're going to post the segment for you on care11.com. Click on care11 news at four right under the shows tab.